Heather Stevens. I'm one of the co-founders of Opera Managers Association International, or what we're referring to now as OMI. Oh this interview is really to familiarize you with the organization and with some of the people involved. So I'm here with Mitch Piper, who is our president, and with Marcus Laska, who is our communications director. Welcome to the two of you. Mitch, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your agency? Uh, sure. We, I um, own, along with Robin Piper, uh, Piper Artist Management. Uh, we're an international boutique agency. We represent singers, conductors, stage directors. We work diligently to try to get our artists engagements in all of the major houses of the world. And that's a little more challenging these days than it used to be. We've been doing this since uh, 2005, so it's our 15th year. Marcus, how about you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. I am born in Munich and I moved in, to Bologna in Italy in 2003. And I started to work as artist manager in 2004. And I opened my own company with other three colleagues in 2017 called Melos Opera. So we uh, represent opera singers, so singers, conductors, stage directors, working mainly in the opera field. 90% of our artists are represented in exclusivity and worldwide. Let's go back to you, Mitch, and can you just talk a little bit about um, the founding of Opera Managers Association International, oh my. Um, I think one of the interesting things about this is, is that we founded this as COVID, and that it's very unique for our opera managers who are normally competitors with each other to be coming together for this kind of collaboration. This grew out of conversations that many of us had um, starting, I think, um, in March, uh, really. Marcus uh, was very instrumental in doing this because he, he had always thought it would be great if we had a platform for managers to discuss things. And th through that initiative with him, we worked um, on Zoom calls. Those grew from like eight or 10 members to a one point we had 60 or 70 managers, which, which is unheard of in our profession. I, I think it's fair to say it started with this idea of force majeure and the fact that companies were canceling because of COVID and it was leaving artists with no income, uh, which as it trickles down, it leaves management firms with no income as well. We, we talked about ways that we could help. Um, we, then, we then started looking at rescheduling of operas. Um, there were a lot of issues with the rescheduling. There were domino effects that were starting to where artists were then finding themselves without work for the next two seasons. The management field really has always been left out there on a cliff by itself. And so I think the feeling was that we, we, we deserve a voice at the table when these things are being discussed. And uh, a larger voice, um, meaning all of us gathering together, obviously gives us more power, which in turn helps the artists that we are working with. We then decided that it probably should be an official association. Um, and through help from some of our colleagues in Germany, we decided to officially register this uh, in Germany. The biggest joy for me has been meeting the colleagues that I've met. Um, you know, I, I've known a lot of you, you know, by name and by reputation, but it, it's really been a joy to sit and work with all of these colleagues. Yes, it, it was like um, everything started in Italy, uh, as we know, and uh, on February 24, uh, the first theaters were closed, among them Teatro La Scala in Milan, and uh, the same day uh, the schools here were closed in Italy, and I left for the, the States and I, I did my last big uh, business trip. In the meantime, so whole Italy canceled and the first German theaters and Austrian theaters started to, to stop. And as much as I was speaking with other colleagues, I discovered that we really never speak together. So I think that the first thing I had, as you say, I opened this button on the Facebook page, but it's a closed group. Uh, where we just could communicate and just to exchange opinions 
um, matters, questions, many questions especially. Yesterday, I, and somebody was writing, I had this issue with that orchestra. Is anyone, has anyone experienced the same thing? And all these questions were the, the, the first time that we did this together. We need to be a strong group of a majority of the opera managers to address all our common needs and the common needs of our artists together. Yeah, we started Zoom calls, I guess, as the 11 of us, probably in, oh gosh, probably in June, early June. At one point, I think last month, the call went out. The emails have to stop because there's too many of them to keep track of. Um, It's amazing the enthusiasm that this group of 11 people has had. And I think it's a good mix. We have three agents from Germany, uh, one in Italy, one in Spain, two in the UK. There's um, you and me, Sarah, but there's also Jeffrey Larson of L2 Artists and Filippo Anselmi, who's a colleague of mine at Piper Artists. So there's four of us from the United States. It, it has been about how we can serve the management agencies all over the world. Um, we, we never have, there's been no egos involved in this. There's been no agendas other than making the working relationship for managers between managers and houses and between managers and artists and, and, and between managers and managers, a, a more, uh, simpatico, a more comfortable working relationship that in the end will be more productive. I think also the common force is that we are quite different. So we are all, we cite tact, I think it is the only bigger management. We are all mm, boutique agencies. We have different backgrounds, different nationalities. And I think all these different views, bringing them together, are really is, is the sense of this association to say we are one voice, but coming from different experience and from a very personal point of view of this business. I, I feel like we really have the world covered quite well. Uh, I'm hoping we can expand and get interest from Asia. As much of our business is expanding into that hemisphere. We are also connected to the other associations. So uh, I'm engaged also in the, in, the, in the Italian association, especially my, my business partner is um, Mark Mazzi and me, we are working also with the European. There are two colleagues, they are in, in Yama. There seems to be a real sense of collaboration where the other organizations are actually glad that we have formed OMI. There's no sense of animosity. It's more a sense of we are moving into a real changing world. And that world, as it changes, is going to change our profession I've been really pleased with just the welcomeness that we have received from the other organizations. And I think one of the most important issues we, we need to bring up as as new organization is that in the future, we need to be equal partners this with the artistic directors, the intendants. We are not anymore in between of two contract partners, but we are really on the same table as the others. And so we need to see how we can get into also the in institutions uh, in the opera open conference in, in Germany or uh, on Opera Europe so that there is a representative of opera managers uh, discussing with the um, decision makers of opera houses on contracts, on clauses, on whatever our business brings forward. We're having a Zoom meeting next week in which we've invited 250 managers. We want to hear from them. We want to hear what they, what they feel the needs are. I think it's very interesting also to know that the first reactions from the opera houses were really, very really positive. Finally, you get together. It's something you needed to do. I, I agree with you. I think the houses, once this is all worked out and the agenda moving forward is really solidified. I I think the houses are going to be very happy that we've done this. We need to unify uh, in order to be really active as partner. 
I think it is really important we speak openly about our business and we can do this only together. It was heartbreaking to see Cami have to close their doors. And I think that brought a realization to the industry that whether you run a small boutique agency or whether you run an agency with hundreds of artists and conductors and touring orchestras all over the world, everybody needs to have a sense of coming together for one common cause, which is to keep this art form going. And I think that's going to be very difficult in the years ahead. We, we have a website, and you can go to www.operamanagers.org. I feel like a politician now giving out the information, but you know it needs to be out there. So you can go to operamanagers.org. There's an application that you fill out. Uh, that application gets sent to membership at operamanagers.org. The, the, the homepage uh, shows, of course, all the details of our association. So there is a good description of, of it. There are There's a list of all the advantages that we are offering for our members. The membership page where you can get all the details how to join us. There is a mission statement, which is really important to, to read out. And one of the, the uh, issues we had discussed quite for a long while was the, the Code of Professional Conduct. And then there is also a news page where, where our um, newsletter will be connected to it. Details about our actions, about our um, working with the theaters, about all our discussions will be presented. So there's a lot of opportunity for new members to join these committees and to have their voice heard and to really work uh, with their colleagues to make positive change for the future. It, it's a lot of managers um, that we've been in contact with, and the response has been terrific. Um, just the personal emails that I've gotten back thanking, you know, not me, but thanking all of the founding members, you know, for taking this effort. The response has been really terrific, and I I look forward to a, a lot of um, a lot of them joining OMI in the future. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Well, thank you to the two of you. This has been fun. Right. On for OMI. Right. Okay. <laughs> Silenzio, silenzio, silenzio. Io son qui per giudicar. Io da lei sceltavo capo, vengo a far le sfere difese delle legittime pretese che io vi vengo a palesar. Deputate, deputate! Ah, silenzio, silenzio, silenzio. Io son qui per giudicar. Io come al mondo conto, vengo qui per testimone del che verso matrimonio con questa anzia di da là. Silenzio, lo vedremo, il contratto leggeremo, tutto in ordine devi andare.